whip, switch to sports mode. Hold it in the road. When you get so mad, you can explode. Hold it in the road. Bro, just stay focused on your goal. Don't let them crack the mold. The finish line straight ahead, bro. Hold it in the road. When life switch to sports mode. Hold it in the road. When you get so mad, you can explode. Hold it in the road. Bro, just stay focused on your goal. Don't let them crack the mold. The finish line straight ahead, bro. Hold it in the road. Uh. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Holding the Road with Mrs. Gray Fox and Big Bad Harold. Today we have the the uh, what what can we say, Harold? Uh, <laughs> the, the privilege yeah. to sit down and talk special with agent. special oh, yeah, with, yeah. With special yeah. agent oh, yeah. Reggie Dudley. How you doing today, good man? Man, I'm wonderful, brother. Thank y'all for having me. Oh yeah. Now, oh, yeah. are you from Tallahassee originally? I'm actually from Malone, Florida. It's like. An hour away from you know where Mariana? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sixteen mile north. Okay. Malone, what's that? Um, basketball team, baby. We the best. In the okay, best. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now hold on a second. What's that mascot up there, Malone? Titans, baby. Okay, class of eighty-eight. Eighty-eight. Okay, so you came out before me. <laughs> But I don't know if you know about them Appalachian Cold Sharks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I knew where you were going with it. I knew where you were going with it. <laughs> <laughs> them Sharks bad too. Now. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know, I know exactly where Malone is. You know what I mean? We come from the same type of community. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Now Absolutely. Uh, you was a Navy man also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. They they uh, told me I see the world. Unfortunately, I just seen submarine. <laughs> oh, you were in the submarine? Yeah. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I couldn't do that. Oh. Enjoyed it, man. Had a wonderful time. Good good guys I, I served with. Uh, it's different. Let me put it like that. How many years you? I did four. I just did four. Man, I couldn't take I it. I did. Well, I put You talk about claustrophobic. Good Lord. <laughs> I tell you what, I was six months underwater every year. Ooh, six months man. underwater. Six months. Ooh. Oh man, I, I couldn't oh, had take a straight jacket. Hey, 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 look here, look here, Captain. Please, <laughs> please, <laughs> super prayer. I've been there praying every day. Please, just, 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 hey, whatever I got to do, I got to get out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I was an army man myself. You know what okay. I'm saying? Uh, right. My brother, he was. Uh, I think it was a quartermaster. Okay, yeah. He, uh, yeah. In the uh, Navy. Yeah, yeah. Tyke. Tyke was, uh, yeah, uh-huh. Tyke was in the Navy. He okay. done, I think he done one tour. I done one tour. Okay. okay. And after that, you, uh, Chipola. You went to mm-hmm. Chipola College? Chipola. Chipola uh, well, actually, I went to Chipola beforehand. Mm-hmm. Um, and then from Chipola, I went to Florida State. Uh-huh. Okay. From Florida okay. State, I just decided, you know what, I need to do something different. Mm-hmm. And I went on in the Navy. Got out of the Navy. Uh, worked for Pride. Now, Pride... I was a training coordinator for Pride. Um, basically, what I did, and, and and I cut my teeth. That's where I start a little bit of that law enforcement. In Pride. Action. Pride. Pride Industries is basically um, they teach um, inmates skills, so when they get out, they'll have mm. a job. Okay. So now this is the LBGT uh, Pride. Mm-mm, no, 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 but um, no, it's um, it's, it's basically a company. It's um, um, they subcontract out. They make all kind of different products. And what we would do is get th- these inmates that were, you know, on their way out or, or or had skills and teach them a skill. So when they got out, man, they can have a job. Mm-hmm. Cause God bless them, you know. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. When they get out, you know, you give a hundred dollars and good luck. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That ain't gonna work. Yeah. So let me say one more thing about okay. that uh, okay. uh, Chipola. Uh-huh. See, because I attended uh, uh, Gulf Coast Community oh, College. Oh, watch uh, out. Uh, uh, <laughs> the was over there. You know what I mean? Oh, they were bad, too. Man, yeah, they were bad. They had some <laughs> battles yeah. on that basketball yeah. court. Yeah. 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 Look at yeah. Gulf Coast. Gulf, them Gulf Coast girls. That's exactly what Gulf I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 As a matter of fact, my daughter's mom played for, uh, yeah. That's played right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Because, right. yeah. right. yeah. man, yeah. Gulf Coast, they used to have, what, Tennessee would come out? Man, I'm trying the to tell you. big time school oh, yeah. coming out of grab yeah. girls. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Uh, now, you studied criminology mm-hmm. at Florida State? Or? Yes, sir. Criminology. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. What motivated you to become a police officer? Well, it... The most important thing to me is just to do the right thing for the community, man. Okay. Um, I, I just felt like that if I get a chance to do what I can to give back, I know it sounds, again, cheesy, mm-hmm. but at the end of the day, if I can do something to help my fellow man mm-hmm. in his time of need and chaos, mm-hmm. then, hey, yeah, yeah. why not? 
Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. if the Lord, if this is what the Lord want me to do 20 years later, I'm still doing it, mm-hmm. you know, right. but wanted me to do this, then mm-hmm. Lord, give me the know-how, the understanding, but also the, um, the, 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 the uh, character mm-hmm. to do this job, mm-hmm. you know, and I've learned over the years, um, different things that I should and should not do. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, never lost that core value and understanding that, hey, you treat person like you want to be treated. Right. Yeah. Period. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Outside of uh, law enforcement, mm-hmm. what's something that you're passionate about? Uh, mentoring and, um, and 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 trying to and, and of course, as y'all can see, church. Oh yeah, the most important thing that we can do, and as a church, mm-hmm. be a part of the community, absolutely, and give an example. Mm-hmm. Um, what I do, um, I'm also part of a uh, five eighty six fraternity incorporated. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, been been with them. Oh, been a been a sigma for over thirty years. Mm. Um, love every minute of it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just a passion, man. Just to do the right thing as mm-hmm. far as trying to show young men. Mm-hmm. I, I I think this is a passion. Show young mm-hmm. men how you're supposed to act, mm-hmm. even if you make a mistake. It's okay. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Yeah. What's the What's the age group that you're working with? We work from eight to eighteen. Ooh, okay. Eight yeah. to eighteen. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. Our our church got a plethora of kids, so mm-hmm. okay. love it. Um, they the, the biggest thing is the young men teaching them how to be young men. Yeah, mm. yeah. I, 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 they have from PlayStation Five right <laughs> to, to 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 every social media yeah. outlet that yeah. I never had, mm-hmm. uh, that we never had. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, to teach them how to act, how to talk. How to dress, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, everything. Just yeah. teach them, listen, fundamental things about how you act, mm-hmm. how you speak, when to speak, when to speak, mm-hmm. when not to speak, mm-hmm. how to teach, how to treat women. Yeah. Uh, what I'm finding out. Mm-hmm. And, and and just overall, man, just to be a, a good young man for for society. What is the 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 biggest negative influence that you think is impacting our youth? Uh Unfortunately, the stereotypes that that is betrayed by certain media outlets on different things that our youth, sometimes they catch our youth doing. Um, As as far as, you know, the the biggest thing is sagging other pants. Oh, my Lord. I was just, we were just talking about that, I think, last night. Mm. Go ahead. I I just think that they don't, if they really understood what it meant to be sagging other pants, they wouldn't sag their pants. But, But anyway, I think the most important thing is just showing them you can be yourself. You can be yourself. Right. I ain't got no problem with that. Right. Because I think this generation is unique. Mm-hmm. I think they're, they're smarter than we ever will be. Yeah. And, and, and they have ideas that are tremendous. Mm-hmm. But what happens is they, they're wanting it now. Yes. I, I want it now. I'm yes. like, okay, but you can't have it now. You yeah. got you, you got to work a little bit to get it uh-huh. to that point. Uh-huh. And, and unfortunately, neg- negative connotations come with wanting it now. Because mm-hmm. what you do is start cutting corners. And what our young people are shortcuts. doing is shortcuts. Mm-hmm. That's the negative con- connotation that I'm seeing that's happening with our young black males. Mm-hmm. It's these shortcuts. You can't take shortcuts to and be great. And it's a dead end yeah. on every always. one of them. Yeah. Always. That's always. One I, way or the other. I tell them all greatness. There's no shortcuts. I just, think about it. Michael Jordan got cut on his high school team. Come on, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Michael Jordan got cut on his yeah. high school basketball team. What did he do? Instead of him going and saying, you know, man, I ain't doing this no more. Yeah. Went and, and shot free throws and played. And played. Work is behind. Greatness them. does not happen overnight. No. no. And, and you have to tell these young men, greatness don't happen overnight. Yeah. You're going to lose a little. You're going you're gonna to feel a little bit of pain, but that ain't going to do nothing but make you resilient, yeah. make you better, because... If you not losing, you're not winning. Yeah, right. That's all I can say. If you ain't, if you ain't losing, you ain't winning. Mm. But um, yeah, man, I, I just I, I feel like I'm always excited when I talk about my young black men because I know that they are um, extraordinary. They're doing extraordinary things, mm. and we need to highlight it. Yeah. I said the, the thing that I get tired of is highlighting the bad. Let's highlight the good. Yeah, there's some good yeah. out there. You, know, yeah. you yeah. got some brothers. I, there's a brother online made yeah. a perfect score on SAT. Right. Mm. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Don't hear nothing about. Don't even talk yeah. about. Why, why you don't hear that? But anyway, in one of our last videos, we talked about imagery, yeah. you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And, and showing that positive, so showing positive images that will be constructive to the community. We show a lot of images that is destructive to the yeah. community. I mean, that's just absolutely non-constructive. We highlight those instead of the positive things. You get a little bit. You actually got to search harder for the positive. 
You know what I mean? Because the negative is, is just so so much out there. It is. You it know is. what I mean? It is. And, uh, you know, that's just something that, that we need to work on. It's like I said, we was talking about campaign mm -hmm. in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. I can't think of one constructive campaign that we've successfully ran and it was beneficial and tangible mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. within the community. Right. It seemed like every campaign we get on is about some foolishness <laughs> that's absolutely non-constructive. Yeah. And it trickles down to the kids. Uh, it, you see it all over the place in society. I mean, uh, you name it, like like we were just talking about, sagging of the pants. Right. Tattoos all in your yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, You know what I mean? Yeah. Things of that nature. Even you know the women I mean? doing it. Now. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? And it's like, you know what? That might be cool now, but... Few years down the road, you're gonna be like, "Oh man, how in the world did I make?" God this willing, one? you get old, and now you're looking at it. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what I mean, right? So yeah, that's just some of the things that, uh, like from our end, that we see that's that's impacting the community out there. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you this: mm -hmm. How important is that role of the father in the community? It's tremendous. It is tremendous. What I what I was told early in life is that a woman can't teach you how to be a man. Mm. And I, my mom, it was just me and her. Mm -hmm. Okay, dad wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Here's what it is. Don't hold nothing against him. Yeah. I got older. We had a relationship. Should have had a better relationship, but we didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the most important thing that we can do for our communities is show them, as you said, my brother, show them how to act. Again, going back to what I'm saying, how to act, wh how not to act, mm -hmm. what's important, what shouldn't be important, what's priorities, what are the priorities in your life, what do you think that you should be or where you should be in, in life when you're at this stage, what if something do happen, how do you deal with it, if you're angry, what, how do you deal with that anger, yeah, yeah. Um, what, 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 if you're going through something in your in your in your family, how are you dealing with that, if there's somebody in your family you can talk to. The father role, we it, it's tremendous because we do we we are the head. Yeah. I always tell people, you're yeah. the head, not the tail. Mm -hmm. The man yeah. is the head. Mm -hmm. Not saying that women are not equal, but man is the head because God is going to hold you accountable. Oh, yeah. right? oh, when yeah. I always quote that God made a help meet mm -hmm. for man, mm -hmm. He brought woman out of man. Let me tell you what that means. Help meet means help me meet the standard that God has put on earth for me. Yeah. Okay. So, but there's no way you can meet the standard as a woman alone. It's got to be a man. Yeah. yeah. To be there first. To step into that role. So we as black men have to take some stock in our young black males mm -hmm. by it's okay to say something. I, I, I've always been told I'm probably the, 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 what's going to happen to me is I'm going to probably get killed by going and telling a young man to pull up his pants. Woo! We were just talking about that last night. Yeah. We was I'm just not, talking I'm, about I'm, that. I'm, because at the end of the day, God forbid that though. You got to say, "Hey man, you are more than what what's portrayed of you." That's true. You are a young male that has potential and you do mighty things. Why are you letting society see the outer part of you that is not the real you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You want to show uh, strong strength, and you want to show invulnerability, when in fact you're really worried and you're really fearful mm -hmm. about what's going to happen the next minute. Because mm -hmm. that's what's happening. These young men are, are worried about they they lose hopelessness. It's just hopelessness, man. I can't stand the young man. It hurts me to my heart because they're living by the moment. They're not living to live. Yeah, yeah. they're living to well. If I get to the next hour, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a way to. That's hard. That's, that's that's a mental thing that, and I don't want to get too far off, off into the weeds with that. But I always tell people it's okay to be not. It's okay not to be okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because yeah. as black people, we are so. That's such a big stigma. If you got some issues mentally right. that you need to go talk to right. somebody, yeah, it shouldn't be that way. Yeah, it should never be that way. Then look at our history, man. Come on. Mm -hmm. We, if nobody else need to go talk to somebody, we need some people. We, yeah. we all need, need to. Yeah, nothing else. Yeah, yeah. I want four acres and a mule and a counselor. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. give me four acres and a mule right. and a counselor. Yeah, right. Yeah. But go ahead. 
we was like I say, we was having a conversation last night. Mm -hmm. I was at Walmart just yesterday, and just out of the corner of my eye, mm -hmm. I seen this this younger brother, and it seemed like he not only did he have his pants down, it, it, it was kind of odd because it looked like he had tattoos all over his his behind. Damn. I'm like, that man, that, and he had two kids with him. Oh mm -hmm. no! So now as he got closer, I'm like, okay, that's that's some type of. Uh, Briefs, uh, uh, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, that he got on that's, that's got, you know, some type of designs on him. Yeah, yeah. But he had two kids with him. I really wanted to to talk to the brother. That's just the type of person. That's my right, character. Right, you know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. But like you say, man, I'm putting my life. Now, I got my son with me. He got his, you yeah. know, it could have been his kids. or uh -huh. his, But I'm like, you know what, man, that's just, I, I can't. No. You know, and I was talking to my coworker last night. You know, you could be at McDonald's with your daughter. Somebody walking with their pants so low that they got to hold them up in the front and you can see they thigh. You get what I'm saying? If you talk to the brother and say, hey, bro, come on now. Can you? Who you is? And before you know it, it's some fire involved. Right. You know, and it's a shootout. Right. It can get that. It can. Quickly. You know what I mean? Just from saying, hey, look here, brother. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and I ain't coming at you like that. I'm just, you know. Right, right. But. And it goes back to a lot of the things that, a lot of the positive things that that we've had is kind of, kind of faded away mm -hmm. the from respect the respect is gone. The respect from, from the culture, mm -hmm. and a lot of the foolishness has evolved. Right, right. You know what I mean? Right. Pants kind of sagging. That came along when I was in high school, mm -hmm. and it was just from. Where we went from wearing them briefs, mm -hmm. then everybody started wearing boxes. So, you know, you wanted to show, hey, look here, you know, I got boxes yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it wasn't no prison job, right, right, from, from right, my understanding. Right, you know what right. I mean? I didn't know that's where that came right, from. Right. You know, we just started wearing, you know, boxes instead of them damn, uh, the, the, the drawers. Tidy whities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. wanted oh, yeah. to show off right, a little bit. Right, yeah. right. But that evolved into you got jokers walking around and you can see their thighs. The you see way thighs. too much, man. Yeah, oh, my God. It's crazy. That's that's crazy. You know, because we have you here, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure anybody that look at this, they're gonna want to be like, hey, look at man, why don't you ask some some tough questions? You know <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Training. Mm -hmm. When y'all going through training mm -hmm. in the academy, mm -hmm. and you trying to take somebody in, you you gotta get a guy cuffed. Mm -hmm. Is there any type of standard that they use or they say, hey, look here, by any means necessary you get this person? Or is there some type of, uh, like I say, some type of standard that they tell y'all to go by mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. far as cuffing somebody? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. You, you're taught the standards and you and, and it's get training. We have to go through retraining every, every year. And we do, we have standards. Now, the caveat to that is this. If I come to you and there is a you know, understanding that you're going to be arrested. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of ten, we have a standard way that we're going to cuff you. Even if you buck a little bit, there's still certain things that we can do to get you in compliance. Hmm. That's And it's a standard. Okay. And, and, and it is. It's a standard. Mm -hmm. And when I say a buck, you know, you might pull away a little bit. Just pull away a little bit. Like, whoa, 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 bro. Yeah. You're like, okay, bro, let's not go there. Okay, I'm not going to be disrespectful, but you can't be disrespectful. But that also comes with talking to someone. Right. Yeah. Me stop talking to you and just grabbing you. Mm -hmm. Of course, what's your natural reaction? Mm -hmm. You pulling away because yeah, you yeah. ain't saying nothing. Yeah. What's going on? But if I tell you I'm going to arrest you, this is why I'm going to arrest you. Listen, I don't want us. And if, with me, I always said this is why I'm arrested. Mm -hmm. Listen, and I go low with it because mm -hmm. I don't want you to be embarrassed. Yeah. You know, because sometimes if you show a man a little respect, especially men. Mm -hmm. If you show men and women, don't get me wrong, I do women too, but at, at, at the end of the day, if you show a man a little bit of respect, guess what? Nine times out of ten, I'm going to get compliant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he might pull away and be like, all right, damn, man, cool. And then he pass. But now, if you bucking hard and we fighting, understand in my mind I have a gun on me. Yeah, right? yeah. So I will tell you, be honest with you. Mm -hmm. If we wrestling, any mean necessary. I'm trying to get you in compliance. Now that doesn't necessarily now they get hit me with your good is. Mm -hmm. That don't necessarily mean I'm putting my 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 knee on your neck, which uh, is not allowed. Yes. Okay. Oh, so that's that not allowed. not allowed. No. Okay. But knee it, the knee on the neck is not allowed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Knee in the back, yes, because that's a compliant. Mm -hmm. All because if I put my knee in the right place in your back, you gonna comply because it's gonna hurt. Oh yeah. You oh, yeah. know. And then boom. And then it's supposed to stop. Punches to the face. No. 
Not allowed? No, no, no. You can't, can't punch it to Slamming the Slamming somebody's head on the ground. No, just, I just can't. Beat somebody's we, head we, on we, the ground. No, we can't do that either. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Repeatedly tasing somebody. If they're not in compliance, yes. Can tasing kill somebody? No. I have not heard anything about that. Uh, and, and I'm going to tell you, this is from me. This is my spirit. Can't, can't speak for no other law enforcement agency or anybody else. But from what I've seen and the studies that I've studied, mm -hmm. I have yet to see anything that would verify or show that com a repeated tasing caused a death. Now, with that being said, I'm not going to say it didn't, right. but I just have never seen that. Right. What about if a person had a heart condition? That and that could be. It could be, and again, it could be to where that could be indirectly affecting to where somebody has a heart attack. But I, I can't. I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to sit here and try to try to say that that yeah, that that could have yeah, affected yeah. it. And I can't say it didn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, how will I know if they have a heart condition? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. If, I, if, I, if you tell me up front, though. Now yeah. it's on me. Yeah. The solace is on me. Wait a minute, man. This dude got a heart condition. Yeah, I might have Boy, to use something else. Yeah, we yeah. might have to use something else yeah. on him. He right. got a heart condition. Right. Yeah. But if I don't know it, and you steadily booking, and, and because because at the end of the day, bro, I don't want to, me, and I got to always say the caveat, me, mm -hmm. and most officers, you don't want to, you want compliance to the point where we stop fighting. Bro, right. I do not get paid to fight. Right, <laughs> right. Okay? Yeah. I, yeah. I, let me hear. Let, let, I hope people hear this. Yeah, I do not get paid to fight nobody. Matter mm -hmm. of fact, I don't want to fight nobody. Yeah, I'm right. not Muhammad Ali. Never <laughs> will right. be. Right. You know, my job is to come get you into compliance. If I had to go to that route, right. That's all. Right. My job is not to embarrass you. Right. Because what I found in my research is that what happens is it goes to another level because the person is embarrassed yeah, because the yeah. officer embarrasses them. Right. Sometimes you just can't help it, and that's understandable. You mm -hmm. just got to do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. But not if you can get a person to where... Let me give you an example. I got to give you the example. I don't want to take up too much time, but I got to give you the example. Hey, it's on you, brother. Um, I was a deputy. Um, my, my lieutenant called me and said, hey, you got to arrest this young lady. It's 6 o'clock. In Jackson County, that's that, that dinner time. Mm -hmm. Six, seven o'clock, that dinner time. <laughs> right. So you rolling up on a house, a house with Boom. everybody there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and this is a young lady. I go to the, um, I, I roll up to the house. Dude come out. So what's going on? Well, um, I got a warrant for your uh, wife. Mm. Hey, now, mm. now, but this is how I went at it. Little kid ran out there too, run out to the dad. I said, little son. I said, listen, I don't want to embarrass you and I don't want to embarrass her. But what I have to do, I cannot leave here. I have mm. no yeah. jurisdiction of yeah. leaving here. Yeah. I have to leave here with her. Yeah. But what what we gonna do is this. I said, and do me this favor, I don't make it complicated, it's gonna make it easy, because I don't want to embarrass her in front of him. Mm -hmm. My whole thing is the kid. What is he gonna think about you me? Yeah. Right. Yeah. How is he going to think when he gets older? Man, he was terrible. He just mm. grabbed my mama, put yeah. it in. The... I told her, I said, listen, this is what we're going to do. And I told her the same thing. You're going to come out. You're going to get in my car. Mm. We're going to go down the road. I got to put the cuffs on you. But you're going to set it up here with me. I'm going to put the cuffs in front. And you're going to sit in the front seat with me. Mm. I know a lot of people are like, ah, how dare you do that? No. Sometimes you got to evaluate the situation. Look and see that this was just a little simple family. They had never been in trouble before. Mm -hmm. Ain't never did. This man ain't look like he was mad, upset. He was just distraught. He mm -hmm. just didn't know what what else to do. But the lady knew what was going on. Mm -hmm. yeah. So she got in the car. We went down the road. Mama be back home soon. Blah blah blah. Went up the road. That maybe a week or so. The man said thank you. Mm -hmm. That go a long way. Thank you. Man. I thought he said, he said "Man, yeah. it could have you could have did any other yeah, thing." Yeah, and that, yeah. that hit me, bro. Because right. at the end of the day, all I saw was that young yeah. three year old kid saying he was cool. Mm -hmm. You know, I ain't never seen nothing. Yeah, my mama, I ain't never seen nobody do anything bad as right. far as from this guy. Yeah, yeah. So going back to what you said, no, you don't supposed to do all those different blows. But at the end of the day, again. We can we step back, think about it. At certain times you can, but most of the time, if you're going to arrest somebody, you're gonna have two or three people there anyway. You're gonna make sure that you do what you need to do to make sure that you do your job. And doing your job don't necessarily mean you have to beat somebody down. Right. 
They just don't. Right. And 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 nine times out of ten, the person, if the person is complying or doing what they're supposed, even if they're not, you you have to de-escalate as soon as they're in cuffs. Mm-hmm. That don't mean in they're in cuffs, you put knee on the neck. Right. That don't mean then cuz you hit him in the head with your yeah. fist. Yeah. That don't mean then cuz if yeah. you what you call them, you tase him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all yeah. hear what I said? Yeah. That don't mean when they're in cuffs, you tase them. Because when they're in cuffs, they're contained. That means you don't use any other other than your arms, because I can arm bar you enough to where you can go in compliant. And it's simple and it goes away in a second. Is choking nope. any part of choking? No. Nope. No, nope, no. Nope. So when you see somebody that's got their whole body weight on a person and they choking them at the same time and they telling them stop resisting and I can barely even talk because you're choking me. You know That's a problem. Yeah. That's a problem. And I and I and, 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 and um if you if you um I don't know where it was, but it was somewhere where a sergeant had was choking a person. Mm-hmm. Young young um sister that was an officer. We seen it, yeah. We did a video on it. What she do? The sunrise. That was down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, she, and what, what did she do? Exactly what she's supposed to do. Oh, yeah. Pull that officer off of yeah. What she's supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and, the, and the officer turned around and attacked her. Yeah. She was trying so to calm him down, yeah. That's what you're supposed to do, brother. Whatever happened? Now, you remember what happened in the officer? I think that officer got either A. I know he was fired. Mm-hmm. I'm almost for sure he was fired. Don't, his last don't name was Please. I think his was, last name was Christopher Please or something uh, like that. Something like that. Police. Police. That was his last name? His name Police? Yeah. I think he was fired. I think, think I think he was. I think he was discharged. I think he was yeah. fired. But and he they, told everybody to turn their cameras off. Yeah. 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 So what that tell you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What that tell you? Let me let me tell you something. What a problem I got with that is that when they fired him, they should make sure that he can't go down the road and get another job. That's, True. So that's, True. A, that's a huge True. problem. And okay. I tell you something else that a lot of people have problems with mm-hmm. is that you know, person goes and uh, kills somebody. And they're suspended with pay. Now, now how does that make sense? <laughs> well, I will say this. You, you're supposed to be, and hit me what your good is again, you want to make sure that you do your due diligence. Mm-hmm. I, I, I will say this. I know it's kind of hard for the public. Because if it's something that's obvious and you see it, yeah. you're like, oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You just got it. That's just procedure. Yeah, and that's okay. something that's just procedural-wise. Yeah. You know what's been to happen. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, you never, ever want them to go to court. Mm-hmm. Especially if they did wrong and you saw it and I saw it and everybody mm-hmm. saw it. They go to court and they get off on the technicality. Right. So you yeah. want to make sure that you do your due diligence. Yes, and that's unfortunate. That's just part of it. Yeah. You have to have to. And I, and I know me saying this ain't going to bring somebody's baby back. Right. Ain't going to bring my mama back. Ain't going right. to bring nobody's um, daddy back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, I would rather for me to do my job. And yeah, okay, I'll give you a little cheese while I'm doing my job. Mm-hmm. But as soon as I'm finished mm-hmm. and I got it together and say, we're going to put this boogie in jail for murder. Right. You ain't going to do nothing but be elated because now you can't wiggle out of it. You're going to either have to, you're going to either A, going to go to trial and I'm going to put your butt in jail for the rest mm-hmm. of your life. Mm-hmm. Or B, you're going to plead. Yeah. Right. So yeah, it sucks. But that's just procedure. And unfortunately, that's how it goes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In your opinion, mm-hmm. why are so many officers, when they're dealing with people in the black community, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. why is the deadly weapon the first option in most cases? When you have <laughs> taser, a billy club, yeah. mace, and you know, it seems that when you're dealing with Mm-hmm. I, not you, but you know what I'm saying. Right, 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 what, right, right. what we see is when they dealing with somebody black, the first option is is the gun. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Now we've seen cases where they could be dealing with a person, and this person got a gun, and you won't pull your gun, and and you you know true, you showing restraint. I got you. But too often we see when officers are dealing with black people, the first option is that fire. They going right for the deadliest weapon that they got on. Mm-hmm. In your opinion, why is that? Culture. Not understanding our culture. Not understanding that we talk with our hands. Mm-hmm. Listen, I'm a cop. I talk with my hands. Mm-hmm. Black black men, if you ever, us, how do we talk? Right. We always we animated. Move our hands. Yeah, we, we animated. Oh, yeah. We oh, yeah. always move our hands. And we're taught as police officers that your hands will kill us. Mm-hmm. So, now, going back to your question. Why do most officers, I don't think most officers do, but I said the officers that I that that I've seen that you are talking about mm-hmm. is because of culture. Mm-hmm. Because they don't understand the black culture. Me and you talked about we talked about this offline. Get out the car. Mm-hmm. 
Get out there and get in front of the community. Yeah. Talk to the community. Go to Pig, um, Piggly Wiggly. Go to these different um, Save a Lot. Go to the Wendy's. Go to the McDonald's. Go to the um, the different places that we congregate and get to know us. Stop sending a car riding through and not involve yourself. Get into the involved and, and, and instead of going home, mm -hmm. get involved with these community things that goes on in the black community right. that you actually patrol yeah. mm -hmm. and find out about us because yeah. we don't have time to teach everybody about culture. Give you another story. As an investigator, I found out that in the Middle Eastern culture, you don't talk to the woman. Even if I'm an investigator and I need to talk to the woman, the man is the head. So he's going naturally going to get in front of me, dealt with this, get in front of me. What, what, what can I help you with? I need to talk to her. Understood that. Had to understand it. So what I did is, okay, sir, I understand that you need to be here, but I need to talk to her. Mm -hmm. And I need, and I position myself enough to where she can't look over at him, but he's still in the room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All it is is the cultural understanding of how we are and how we react to different, different situations. Again, look at the history of African Americans with the police. Mm hmm. It's not been good. No. No. Okay. It, it has not been good. That, that, I, I hate the, the elephant in the room. Like, everything is great. And I'm not trying to throw no brother and sister that are in law enforcement because we have some wonderful, wonderful law enforcement yeah. officers yeah. in this community. Do mm -hmm. you hear me? Yeah. That do wonderful things and do wonderful jobs. But at the end of the day, when we talk about the three percent, the one on the third, the third I, one. I was about to bring that up. The yeah. one, the third yeah. ones. Yeah. We need, to, we need to weed them out because them are the ones who are – not getting out, who are not talking to anybody in our community, who go home and act like they done saved the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When in fact, you couldn't have talked to that young black man instead yeah. of giving him a darn yeah. ticket? Yeah. Yeah. You mean to tell me you could have yeah. went get got out when they was at the basketball court? Mm -hmm. You got to get out like you missed a bad, bad body? Mm -hmm. Why not get out and play and throw the ball and, and mm -hmm. trip with them and they yeah. laugh at you and like, man, yeah. you know, I got my belt on. Let yeah. me take my belt off. You know, I come back yeah. I get y'all. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah. And that's a banter. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. But what we do, get back in the car. Y'all make sure y'all, you know, leave before uh, the light, you know, some stupid stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. fact, now you're inciting, I yeah, call it. Right. Now you're inciting a, a, a feedback that's probably going to be negative. Negative. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, from what you're saying, why do they go to that? Because I think it's a cultural thing. I think because you don't understand sometimes what's going on. Mm -hmm. And because if I go to that, what, what's the first thing I'm going to do if, if, for example, I pull you over. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to see how you feel, how y'all feel. If, if I pull you over for a simple type of stop and one person, I'm the only one that's there, but then four or five show up, how you feel? Yeah. Man. How you feel? How you yeah, feel? Yeah. What they about to do yeah, to yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. need yeah. all this? How you yeah. feel? You yeah. know what I mean? How you yeah. feel? Yeah. Right. Yeah. If I've already determined that there is no issue and there is not going to be any issue and it's in Piggly Wiggly parking lot, mm -hmm. you might, and, and Lord knows, please don't let me, you would say your son? Mm -hmm. Lord knows I don't want your son to be in there. Now, right. guess what he's looking at? Mm -hmm. What's going to happen to my dad? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, what's going on? Yeah. Now, if there's a reason for me to have three or four, five, five I can do that. Yeah. But there's take nothing for me to say, I'm 10-4. Everybody can go ahead and leave. Yeah. So now you feel like. Whew. I can relax. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. That's all you want, man. Yeah. It's yeah. not hard. It's not hard to say that. Yeah. It's not hard to do that. Because even with that one, you're still in that situation. Regardless, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you talked about the three. Can you for? Can you explain yeah, your one, absolutely. two, three, one? Absolutely, absolutely. You have what I call the three types of police officers. I've, I've always found in my career, my career, you have the first. The first police officers are the ones that actually are doing it mm -hmm. for the reason to be the peacekeepers. Mm -hmm. The biblical, the biblical word of peacekeeping mm -hmm. to catch you at your worst to try to get you back whole. Mm -hmm. There are more of them than than the others that I'm gonna describe to you. Mm -hmm. They are here to make sure that they take care of you, your family, and make sure that you're safe, that you can walk these streets and you ain't never got to worry about somebody hurting you, robbing you, or doing anything to you. Mm -hmm. Them are the ones who, when they leave their job, they go home, maybe get a little sleep if they're on the night shift, get up, and they go, they work out, but then they go to the south side and they part of this community action or this community action. They're part of the community. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's the key. You're part of me. You're not separating yourself off. It's us against the world type of mentality. Now that here we go with the second one. Mm -hmm. The second one's all I just do my job. Yeah. Right. 
Not bad, not good. I'm just doing my job. Yeah. Oh, but did you say I ain't seen nothing? Yeah. I don't know what happened. Just a paycheck. I'm just, I, look, yeah. bro. Yeah. I need that to drop in my um account. Yeah. On Friday. That's yeah. all That's I it. need yeah. to do. Every other Friday. I don't yeah. wanna I, I well, did you see that hat? I don't see I ain't seen nothing. Mm-hmm. No. Now the first one's gonna say, nope, did he did it? It's time to get them off the street. Mm-hmm. This one, I don't I ain't seen nothing. No. Mm. They ain't gonna give no inf- information. They just wanna do their job. Mm. And then the third, don't know, and thank God there are a minimal amount of these, but these are the ones who highlight and make us look terrible. Mm-hmm. Don't know how they survive as long as they did. Mm-hmm. Don't know how they even have a badge. Mm-hmm. Don't know how they still got a badge. Mm-hmm. Them are the ones who are bullies. Mm-hmm. Right. Number one. Yes. Them are the ones who don't want to learn about the culture. Mm-hmm. Them are the ones who stay in the car, don't want to get out for nothing to talk to nobody. Mm-hmm. Them are the ones who every time they see a, a black man betrayed in their negative sense, that's how they really are. Mm. Do the police police the police. We should. When you see those we that should. three type, we should. We should. And say, hey, look here, man, you're going to wind up making someone else get hurt by your foolish actions and, and the way you police. We should. I'm going to tell you just like this. We should. Now, there are officers that do. Mm-hmm. We, so we just talked about that sister who, like, hey, down in Sunrise. Right. What's going on with you? What you doing, man? Yeah, you know yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, what right. you doing? Uh-huh. There are, God bless, there are. A lot of officers. I wish I could say more than, but there are more officers in that middle one, what I sold on that two, right. than it is on that aspect of mm-hmm. stop. Because look, what did you see in Sunrise? How many officers y'all saw there? It was a lot. Yeah, it was yeah, a lot. Yeah, who would only want to say anything? Yeah, one. One. yeah, you're right. You're right. So that did that just answer my question? Right. Yeah, that's that's right. true. So you see one mm-hmm. out of that that said, hey, stop, what you doing? Mm-hmm. When in fact, all the rest of them were like, Ain't yeah. seen nothing. Yeah. I don't, right. I don't, know, yeah. I don't yeah. know what you're yeah. talking about. I, I ain't seen nothing. Mm-hmm. But that's just as bad as you not yeah. doing anything and getting yeah, hurt exactly. somebody. Absolutely. So my thing is, what I'm finding, and, and to, to, to the credit to my young officers, I love them to death. Young officers ain't tolerating that no more. Mm. I'm seeing an uptick, and I know y'all may, may not believe this, but I see an uptick of them saying, no, I'm not doing that. Mm. That's wrong. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's wrong. It, it's great. Yeah. It's yeah. like, that's wrong. Mm-hmm. My, my age, they're like, oh, well, Officer Dudley, if I'm doing something wrong, that I don't know if that's right. Mm-hmm. They're questioning. Right. That's wonderful. Right. That's wonderful. Mm-hmm. A lot of them may get out simply because they don't want to just go with the status quo. They're questioning, yeah. why right. am I doing this? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you were saying, what are we doing? Mm-hmm. What are we doing? What is my purpose? So when they figure out that this is my purpose, I'm questioning everything you're doing and making sure that it is procedures, making sure you ain't doing nothing stupid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, I'm still betrayed and they're more involved. So they get out there in the community. So they talk to people because they got friends that are multicultural. Yeah. And that's yeah. what I'm seeing from this younger generation. Mm-hmm. And I love it. That's I good. love it. Yeah. So they're getting rid of those old, don't want to do nothing. And I don't want to necessarily say old because there's young ones too that just want to start foolishness. Right. That's what I call it. Just start foolishness. I'm the police, jump out the car. I, yeah. You know the portrayal of, of the jump out the car with the glasses on? Uh-huh. And I'm poly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to do what I say? Yeah. True, yeah. true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Trying to get yeah. rid of those. Yeah. yeah. I'm the man with all the power around oh, yeah. Right. 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 And, and in fact, the old addict is I enforce the law. I am not the law. Yeah. Right. That's it. Actually, a bit of a hot topic. Talk to uh, me. The Tyree Nichols situation out there and those black cops. How did that make you feel? Uh, brother, Knowing that you're a law enforcement brother, officer and brother, you got listen. six brothers that done that brother like that. Yeah. I don't even want to call them brothers. They they uh you got six I, males. Yeah. 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 Brother on on every level. Let, let me let me hit it on every level. I'm not gonna get into um too deep into it because it just hurts my feelings every time I talk about it. First of all, you know the situation mm-hmm. as officers. You're in this task force and you know the situation. So, and they were part of the, the Divine Nine, and I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to go no further than that because I don't want to throw nobody under the bus. Yeah. Yeah. So, that telling me you had an education on knowing what the community does and what you need to be doing in the community. So, you just threw that all away yeah. and decided to hurt and kill this black man in the most heinous way you <sighs> can do it. Yeah. So, that type of evil, I, I can't even describe that, brother. But unfortunately, we have, and I have 
in my travels, saw brothers just like that. Mm. Mm. That is terrible. Let me tell you what. The brother that you saw on, remember, remember Boys in the Hood? Mm-hmm. Remember, remember that scene? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which one? Oh, oh, oh he talking about the cop. He talking about the cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, the, the brother up there, yeah, yeah. the yeah. gun. Uh-huh. And yeah. He was mm, just like that. Just like that. And I just could not believe it. I'm in classes with some of these boogies. And I'm like, can you can you really be that? Because you know how you get surreal sometimes. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That just can't be right. Yeah. There ain't no way yeah. in the world. No, nah, bro. Just don't add up. There are people yeah. like that. And I'm looking at, you, you, you forgot where you come from mm-hmm. and how you stood on backs of some people to help you get through the academy and through all this. And now all of a sudden you done switched it because this is what you think is right. Mm-hmm. That hurt me to my heart, brother. Mm-hmm. When I when when you see when you see that, when you see that video, it's yeah. just awful, yeah. man. Yeah. It's just awful. I mean, the utter disrespect that these brothers had, like you said, I can't even call them money. Yeah. Whatever you want to call yeah. them. Mm-hmm. Had to this young man. I don't care what he did. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care what he did. Unless he pointed a gun, which he never did. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Yeah. All right. You mad? Mm-hmm. You done got so mad that you that he done they tried you or whatever. Okay. That that behavior it, it was so reckless and unimaginable. Let me just put it like right. that. Mm-hmm. But it happens. And there yeah. are and there are black cops that are out there like that. Mm-hmm. No no. Mm-hmm. No no. Yeah. Unfortunately. The police chief, I think her name is CJ Stroud. I think so. Don't get me. Don't yeah. don't get me the line to you. Yeah, she's up for <laughs> reinstatement. You think she should be reinstated? I think that there should be. If she knew what these guys were doing and did not do anything to stop it, mm-hmm. she should not. Mm-hmm. If she didn't know mm-hmm. and was 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 um, and again, this is this is my opinion. If she did know, yes, she should not be reinstated. If she did, it, 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 well, excuse me, if she did know, she should be reinstated. If she didn't know and her, the ones under her did, mm-hmm. they should be gone. Yeah. Right. And then it's like, okay, we're going to revamp our whole department image because this is not what we're about. Mm-hmm. Right. Because at the end of the day, yeah, sometimes you had to get rid of folks. And sometimes they had to start with the top. Mm-hmm. It's just like a head coach of a football team. Oh, yeah. If you ain't oh, yeah. winning, what you going to do? Time to go. It's an image. Yeah. You got an image that you got to portray, man. And my thing is, First of all, these cops now, guess what? I go out there. Let me say I go out there. I never get no respect. No matter if I'm a good person or not, they're always going to look at black cops right. as yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That makes it You dang- ain't black, you blue. Make it real that dangerous. That makes it dangerous for me. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, yeah, if she, if she knew, mm-hmm. if she knew, no, she should not be reinstated. If yeah. she did, whoever was under her that didn't let her know, gone. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know, she was in some type of trouble up here in Atlanta. And then she got that position out there in oh, Memphis. Right. And see, that's what and happens. see, that's my next question. What happens? How do, like, if you get in trouble <laughs> in one town, mm-hmm. they find it, hey, look here, man, you was doing something you ain't got no business doing. Mm-hmm. You're fired. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How does that certification work? I mean, is that certification just good? Do they do anything? It, it, it's dependent upon what because happens. Sometimes even a teacher, if a teacher get fired somewhere, you can't teach yeah, you can't no teach well. Forever, the certification is gone. What happens, man, is it, it, it depends upon if they give you the right to resign. Mm-hmm. Most of the time, they give you the right to resign, you keep your certification. Mm-hmm. Now, my thing is this. There are times that, that police officers do stupid stuff and they resign because the things that they did may not... And I have to say this because I know some people like this, that they did something that was procedurally wrong. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, they were good cops. They did wrong. They admitted it. And they kept their certification. That's cool because they'll go and they'll go to another department, do wonderful. Mm-hmm. Never had no issues, learn from it, and move on. I know cops like that. Mm-hmm. That I will, They come to my house anytime, chill. But the ones who do something that's really heinous, that we talked about, mm-hmm. the ones like that sunrise, and he goes somewhere soon as the investigation. I know we just talked about it, and he got to do the investigation. He's still getting paid, unfortunately. Yeah. He's still getting paid. 
Never. He should be the certification and in, in, in the certification, they go through the process, should be revoked. That should be an automatic. Most of the time it is. Mm-hmm. Most of the time. Now, I can't speak for other states, but I know Florida, most of the time, if it's something that's real heinous, they they pretty much going to revoke your 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 uh, certification. You won't be able to be a cop. No way. You like choking somebody out. That's right. that's a physical thing. You, yeah, yeah. Hurt, you could have killed that person. So, yeah. no, you, you got to go. Yeah. This ain't for you. Yeah. But if that young, if it's a procedural thing with her, they probably gave her a chance to resign. But my thing is, if she hasn't used that to help her better herself, mm-hmm. so if you start seeing a pattern, then why in the world? Yeah, I, right. I agree with you. Why are you hiring her? If you see a pattern of misconduct, then that's a problem. If there's no pattern, then okay, if she made a mistake, everybody make a mistake. Okay, give her a shot because she does have experience. But if there's a pattern, and I, like I said, I don't know. I want to research her before I make a make a because I don't like the money quarterback. But if she did have a pattern of there's a problem every time she goes somewhere, you know, we might need to look at might not hiring her. You know, that's mm-hmm. the way I look at it. Mm-hmm. Um, because again, your image is depending upon your head. Right. If I look at your head and every time I turn around, there's a there's a skeleton coming out of that closet dealing with law enforcement and and, and how your officers act, mm-hmm. then that might be might be reason that you need to hesitate and put her in a position. Right. But again, it's all about who you know, brother. Right. Another conversation that we've had. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's just say, cause like you say, you profile. Yeah. Uh, yeah. People profile. Yeah. You know, officers profile. Yeah. You see your brother walking down the street. He's a stereo, stereotypical person that you may think mm-hmm. does whatever, but he's not. Okay. Or she's not. Well, we'll say he. Most okay. times it's a he. Okay. All right. And, you know, you hit your, woo, you know what I mean? Pull over. Brother, you know what you want? Hey, uh, what are you doing out here? I'm, I'm walking. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, can I see some ID? Have no right to ask. No right to ask. He no ain't right got to show. He ain't got to show no ID uh, if, unless he's doing something articulate. Now, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. Two o'clock, three, three o'clock. o'clock in the morning. Uh-huh. Always remember, reasonable person. Let's say you in a you in a high drug area. You walk you walking in a high drug area. Mm-hmm. Right. You you just walking. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm just walking. I can I can have uh, contact with you. That don't necessarily right. mean I have to. But see, that always goes back to what I just told you. Mm-hmm. You have to be articulate in how you approach it. If I come to you, the cop or the uh, b- the cop. Okay. Because if you just walk, you just walk. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, if you just walk, you just walk. Yeah. I can't just arbitrarily stop you because you just <laughs> right. walk. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I'm like, I can give. Hey, what's up, big dog? You need a ride? Yeah. What's going on? It's kind yeah. of dangerous out here, bro. I don't want you. Yeah. I want you walking by yourself. Yeah. Uh, you know mm-hmm. what? What? What's going on? Where you headed? You going to get? Are you going to get you some good something to drink? Me and him got a banter. My thing is, but do you ever notice that I haven't asked for no ID? Yeah, yeah. But now, that officer could, could come back and say, hey, well, we've had some reports of uh, car break-ins here lately. You know, uh, can I see some ID? If, if you have had within, let's say, let's say you have, okay, for craps and giggles, yep. Somebody's been breaking in cars. Mm-hmm. And I say, well, man, is it is it any way possible? I don't want to profile you. Because I don't mind saying that. Yeah. I don't want to profile you, but you are at 3 o'clock in the morning, bro. You're walking What you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, yeah. I said, listen here. In the neighborhood, I said, everybody sleep. Why yeah. are you the only one on the uh-huh. road? Yeah. I thought, man, I just wanted to walk. and I want, But just give him a chance to, to, to tell me why he's walking. And yeah. he hit you with, I'm minding my business. You need to mind yours. Get away from me. All right. No problem, brother. Mm-hmm. You have a nice night. That's it? That's it. Now, most times we don't see that. No, you don't. You don't. But at the end of the day, if you're minding your business, I don't have any reason mm-hmm. other than in the past. If I don't have no description, I don't have no... Now, it's different if I get a description and it's clothing and stuff like... Yeah. yeah. Because now, okay, bruh, you got on blue jeans and a, a, a orange shirt. He got on blue jeans and an orange shirt. No, you ain't leaving. You know, but if it's just a week ago... Mm-hmm. And I happen to be patrolling, mm-hmm. and it's two or three o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. Guess what? I'm not. I'm not gonna. I, I. You don't have the right. I can have a encounter with you, right? And you can tell me to kick rocks. Right. And I have to kick rocks, mm-hmm. right? But well, now, I don't have to show you. No, my you ID don't. Then. You don't. Mm-hmm. You don't. But guess what? I can do. What's that? I can make you feel uncomfortable because that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Unfortunately, right. what's going to happen to make you feel uncomfortable that you're going to go and either a you're going to walk back to where you were, mm-hmm. or b that cop gonna follow you. 
Right. All the way down. Right. Is that right? Is that wrong? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Probably not. Because if my aspect is, I'm just making sure that there's no issues with you. First of all, with you as mental state, because sometimes, brother, if you walk in two or three o'clock in the morning, you're trying to sort through some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Blow some I, steam my, my thing, my thing, and see, this is me again. I want to help you. Look, yeah. man, if you're trying to sort through something, you need somebody just to talk to? Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. No, nah, man, I just need to, I don't need to talk to y'all. And the last time I talked to yeah. y'all, y'all tried to hear me up. Yeah. I said, okay, I ain't going to try to hear me up, brother. Yeah. But just understand, I'm going to be out here on the street, mm-hmm. and right. I'm going to make sure there ain't nobody going to be breaking in nobody's car or the house. Yeah. I'm yeah. just letting you know uh-huh. that up yeah. front. Yeah. So you might get stopped again, mm-hmm. and I'm going to let everybody know that you out here just walking, okay? Right. Right. I just want you to know that up front. Then you, I leave you, you, you're going to tell your colleagues you're going to get on. Yeah, and say, listen, my man is walking. I already right. done stopped him. He right. ain't did nothing right. wrong. He yeah. just walking. Yeah. 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 See, because what, what happened is, right, I'm that guy that walking. Mm-hmm. I done went to some chick house, you know, my side piece house, <laughs> and I done parked my car way, way down, down, down the road. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't want nobody to see me. Yeah. And here you come. Yeah. Messing with me. About to have a paper trip. Early in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But hold up now. Hold up. Let's say that the guy that stopped me is that three type. Mm. Mm. You done violated his rights if you're asking all them all the questions. So now, know. now everything after, hey, look, get out of my face and leave me alone. Everything you do after that, you in trouble. Yep. Who do I go talk to if, let's say that happened? If what it, would, what would be your recommendation? Me, if it was me, I'm going to give me a lawyer. Mm-hmm. That's just me. And yeah. I talked to the sergeant, just like we talked about beforehand, sergeant, lieutenant, mm-hmm. own up the chain. Mm-hmm. But me, I'm going to get a lawyer. Yeah, yeah. And not only that, you know, he took me down, scratched my face all up, going to you know, me a lawyer. punched me in the nose. Going to get but me I think where we mess I'm up at in that. I'm going to get me a lawyer. I think where we <laughs> mess up at in that encounter is they, the officer antagonized you enough for you to do something wrong. Yes. And then now it's a balance of, yeah, the, initially the officer was wrong, but you did do this. But that's that three type. Yeah. But that's, that's the three, three type. type. Yeah. That's that third uh-huh. type of officer. And, yeah. and the unfortunate thing is, that's when you definitely need to get a lawyer. True. That's true. You know, that's when you, because getting your, what's what that lawyer going to say? Okay. Because the first thing they're going to do, I got a, one of my best friends is a lawyer. Right. And a uh, defense lawyer. Damn good defense lawyer. And first thing he going to ask you, what was you doing? Mm-hmm. Like you said, well, uh, not be yeah. real with me, dog. Yeah. What was you doing? What you doing? Yeah. Been yeah. going to, going, going yeah. to give him some yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, well, were you, were you walking different? No, I just walked to the car, yeah. bro. That's all I was doing. Mm-hmm. Dude stopped me, and I told him, kick rocks. Mm-hmm. I'm just I'm just walking. Yeah, yeah. And then, also, you wasn't doing, no, I wasn't doing that. They weren't looking for nobody. Mm-hmm. They didn't give me, he talking about that they had a pres- description of somebody, but he never told me the description of who they were looking for. They, they He told me that the people were breaking into the cars, mm-hmm. but that's all he told me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... You t- refused to give him my ID. Okay, well, okay. Well, and then they jumped on you and said, mm-hmm. yo, you can't leave and stuff like that. Okay, good. Because from then on, it's a fruit of a poisonous tree. That means everything from then on is insubmissible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then from then on, when they put hands on you, that's my blank check. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We seen a situation not too long ago, and I can't put too many details on it. Mm-hmm. But was the two brothers uh, standing by the car? Hold the street situation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you can't put too many because I don't. Right, you, right, you, right, you know yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Now, they standing there by the car. I don't know what got the cops there, but the one brother, you know, he went on ahead, cuffed him, and he, he, you know, he he kicked him in the back of the knee to kind of make him, you know, sit down. Now the other brother bucked a little bit, you know. Snatched him and, you know, brought him to the ground, knee on the back of the neck. While he's on the ground, another officer punched him in the face. And tased him. Yeah, that sounds like a blank check. That's what that sounds like. Now, from what I'm, what you're giving me, that sounds like a blank check. Mm-hmm. I, I, that's just from what, I, from what I've heard from you. I would, again, from that, from all I got was from that, it was totally wrong. Mm-hmm. Now, if they just standing there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What, the what person are they, filming. I mean, and they they. What, what much, are they doing? Did they standing there? What, what standing are they doing? Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, again, brother, it goes back to what what we said from the get go. How are you approaching people? Mm-hmm. 
that third party that I told you about, the third, the third types. Yeah. If you approach it a different way, it never gets that way. But again, when you got those third type of officers, they don't care. Yeah. Why do we give these people a second chance though? I, I don't, I'm, I'm talking about that officer the way you done showed it. Man, look, you could have done been on the force five years. You know you ain't got no business doing this. You know, this time you punch somebody. Mm-hmm. Next time you might kill, kill somebody. somebody. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. I got you. I, I I wish I can answer that question for you. I really do. Mm-hmm. Um, because at the end of the day, I think it's again, it's that blue wall. Mm-hmm. The blue wall of protection. Mm-hmm. On certain officers, they get that blue wall of protection, in which they should not. Mm-hmm. I agree. It should we should be getting rid of these cops Mm -hmm. that are not cops they are just somebody who happen to fall through the cracks Mm -hmm. and get and keep those jobs yeah Mm -hmm. the unfortunate thing is they have procedures they have these my thing i'm gonna tell you what with that let's go into this i think that's why it's so important for us to have independent and that's why i love um that police officers have internal affairs outside of their department sometimes makes sense Mm -hmm. so that somebody outside Mm -hmm. can come in and look at the whole situation now again the blue wall can extend a long way but the unfortunate thing is or the fortunate thing is that hopefully we can get some somebody with some understanding of hey Something ain't right. Mm-hmm. It's okay that y'all want to in- interrogate your own, but sometimes when you interrogate, it's just like um, New Orleans. Right. I remember when the New Orleans PD, they, 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 the, uh, the Department of Justice had to take over New Orleans PD because it was so corrupt. Mm. It was all kind of, man, they were killing folk, and, and, and they were drug dealers. Mm. How long ago was it? It's was, it was a while. It's been okay, a while. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah. it, was t- it was terrible. Right. But well, they, had that, yeah, they had to do it. They had to do it because yeah. it was just so bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not not to knock that some of the brothers and sisters that were there were doing the right thing, but right. they was it was so corrupt that they were getting, you know, caught up with all this foolishness. Mm-hmm. So my thing is I always feel like I, I don't like it. I know that every department have their own internal affairs, but I also like it when there's an outside source comes in and look at everything. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, and they do have that. You have the attorney general and you have FDLE here in the state of Florida that has these these um these units that come in and look at, you know, if an officer um is doing something wrong, they'll look at that. They'll like, okay, well, did you do the right thing? And if you didn't do the right thing, well, if FDLE don't do their job, then you go up to DOJ. Mm-hmm. Department of Justice, and then they'll come down and they'll say, "Wait a minute, you missed this, missed this, missed this." Usually, what happens is that they'll have that information. They'll they'll let them look at it. Like, listen, was any was any rules violated as far as their civil rights? And they have. Then you get me through all of this. I got a lawyer. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm just telling you right now. Right. Through all of this, mm-hmm. I got a lawyer. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, civilly does not equal criminally. Because mm-hmm. civilly, sometimes criminally, unfortunately, for these officers, I, don't ask me why, I still, it for my mind, they get off or get some kind of, uh, oh, well, you can't go out now, you suspended for 90 days without pay or 180 days or whatever, and you on the desk mm-hmm. for a little while. Mm-hmm. That don't stop them from being sued. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. See, right. civil is a whole nother story right. than criminal. Yeah. Right. I may mean, can't get you two different courts. I can't get yeah, you yeah. in the jail, but yeah. I can get you in the pocket. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I tell everybody all the time, if I were you, because I'm not a lawyer, because I can't give you, I can't give you um um a law advice. But I can tell you what I do if I was in your situation. Yeah, yeah. I'm calling my partner. Just as soon as foolishness happened, I'm calling him like, hey man, this is what's going on, this is what happened. Right. Cool. Don't do nothing. Wait till I get there so we can get some deposition from people. Mm. Right. Defund the police as a 20-year officer. How, how did that campaign that if people... That pisses me off because that, that's not the answer. Yeah. That's yeah. not the answer. And, and, and let me tell you something. Most black communities don't want to defund the police. No. I, hate, I, hate, I oh. hate to hear when people say, yeah, I just know. If you ask a black community, that's the last thing they well, want. You ain't lying, they boy. don't want nobody defunding the darn police. Are you crazy? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But they do want us to do move some money for some different programs. And that's fine. I have no problem with that. Deal, dealing with like DJJ, get more involved as far as juvenile justice, trying to get more more um, yeah. programs to help our troubled youth. Yes, 
have no problem with that. Um, police athletic league get more involved in that. Have them come out to the communities that are troubled. Let's put poor money into those. Let's, let's stop doing so much money in stupid stuff sometimes. Yeah, I call yeah, it yeah, stupid yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. And then and, and put more money in training on how to deal with it, like we're having now. Mm -hmm. Like we have right here, right now. Let's have 10 officers and 10 community leaders sit down and just hash out some things. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Let us have it on WCTV. Let mm -hmm. us have it on these big scripts, on y'all show. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? Let us do things like this. But d Von like, no, man, please. <laughs> I heard that, and then, of course, it's only certain people that be and say, oh, well, that's why people want defund. But no, they don't. I said, yeah. And I'll quick to tell somebody, I, said, I don't yeah. know what black community you went to. <laughs> right. But I, the one I know be like, y'all stupid. Ain't yeah. nobody want no defund, no police. We right. want the police. We need but it. we just need the police to understand us. Right. So we want them to come out and talk to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's wrong with that? Right. You know, let's throw more money into the community service part. Mm -hmm. That's all. Community policing. Yeah. That's it. No. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, like I say, when when we come to and we talked about this just a minute ago, mm -hmm. police and the police, you see somebody that say, hey, look at this dude is, is shaky <laughs> over here in this neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He over here like Barney Fife. Right. You know what I mean? Right, I mean, he right, just, right, hey, look at right. him, you don't need to come to these types of calls. Right, right. You know what right, I mean? Right. Is right, is there right. anything to be done to make sure that, hey, look here, we don't need this officer in this community. He feels more, he or she feels more comfortable in this area. Mm -hmm. Keep that person out there because they're going to wind up getting somebody hurt because they scared. Yeah, yeah. I, I hear what you're saying, brother, and, and, and this is what I say shouldn't hire. You say what now? Shouldn't hire. Why? Okay. Because you should be able to talk to everybody, anybody, That's true. anything. That's true. So yeah. Yeah. I'm just being real with yeah. you. At the end of the day, it goes back to what we just got through saying with funding police. Then we need to take you and put you somewhere where it's a community service, where you are forced to sit down and talk to the community, mm -hmm. find out about the community. Guess what? When you get enlightened, you probably be like, oh, mm -hmm. that's what's going on. Yeah, everybody yeah. ain't. Everybody's not the Huxtables. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. we're not the Huxtables. Mm -hmm. Everybody ain't gonna, you ain't gonna run into the Huxtables in the South Side. You probably got a lot of brothers and sisters that are the Huxtables, mm -hmm. but nine times a day, who we dealing with ain't the Huxtables. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have to deal with domestic that you got people fussing at each other. You got families that are torn apart because of maybe some different things that's going on that's deeper than you can even get to. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you might have some aggressiveness that comes out. But you need to learn that because that helps you be an all-around better officer. But all I'm doing is putting a Band-Aid on if I'm throwing you over to the yeah. north side. Because guess what's going to happen? If I'm short one night, you're going to have to come back yeah. to the neighborhood. <laughs> okay? Yeah, so, right. no. You shouldn't even be on that. the fourth. Yeah. You shouldn't be on the fourth. If you can't handle that, it needs to be some training going on. Yeah, yeah. Now that's when the training comes in. Now that's when we need to f focus that money on getting you to understand. Just like I told you with the training, I had to get as far as understanding the Middle Eastern men and how they work their household. The customs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if you learn that, guess what? Yeah. You're a better officer. Good, yeah. So guess what? If you're a better officer, that means you can serve me better. Mm -hmm. That means if a situation arises, you know how to handle it a little Everybody bit better. Everybody's safe. Everybody's safe. That's it. Gun violence. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Root cause, in your opinion, I mean, how do we, how do we, how do we even, you know, put a dent in it? Oh my God, man! Where they getting these? Where they even getting these guns? See, because we've heard unlock cars, mm -hmm. but you got some of these kids out here with what they call these damn Dracos mm -hmm. and these uh, AR-15s, mm -hmm. you know. I'm talking about military grade weapons. I, 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 I just refuse to believe that you're getting those out of somebody's car. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not. Unfortunately, man, um, what I found is that it is way bigger than us. It's, it's, it's on a federal level that you got the, and I'll say it, the NRA is a very powerful, and I'm going to say it just like this, and I'm going to leave it like this. The NRA is a very powerful, powerful, Entity, mm -hmm. period. Oh yeah, they have their hands in everything. Mm -hmm. And when you, when we as a community, and I'm not just even talking about black, I'm talking about everybody. 
because gun violence getting out of hand. Even in them schools, you bring in school, you know, school shootings is just yeah, yeah. prevalent. It's now. common now. Yeah, it's, 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 and that's sad. That's it's sad to say that. Yeah. It's really sad to say, well, mm-hmm. man, you know, another school shooting. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Who Which, won the game last year? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And these are babies. You killing babies. You killing man. somebody's baby. Yeah. Right. So what's happening is that you got this panic. This is my opinion. This panic of certain people that was in office. Oh, we need to go ahead and get all the ammo and everything that we can get. But we need to buy up all this. Okay. An AR, any type of rifle or automatic weapon. It only should be allowed to be a person who's doing that for for uh well AR you can't you use no AR for no sport. Mm-mm, as right. far as no darn trying to kill no deer or stuff like that. I don't wanna right. hear that. People wanna tell me, oh yeah, no, nah, I don't hear that, bro. Yeah, you finna run I, used, to me? I used to hunt. Yeah. I don't wanna hear that. Mm-hmm. You don't need that. Um if you are like in a competition, mm-hmm. okay, understand that. But that's because you're in a competition. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're a police officer or in the military. That's the only people that should be getting that. Why are we selling them to, oh, you're trying to take my guns? Ain't nobody trying to take nobody's gun. Why do you need that? Yeah. Because the only thing AR does is kill people. Mm-hmm. People. Yeah. You're not hunting with it. You're yeah. not doing anything. You're killing people. Yeah. Yeah. The only reason you get it is you're killing people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Listen, my thing is this. Now, with the caveat with that, most people, and I, and I, and I, and I wholeheartedly believe this, most people who do have guns are owners of guns. I'm a owner of guns, multiple guns. But I understand that the only way that it becomes dangerous is when I pick it up. Right. That gun ain't going to do nothing to nobody if it's laying on the couch or laying laying right mm-hmm. there. As soon as I pick it up, it becomes dangerous. Right. So what we need to do is to maintain that guns should be, I honestly believe that you should be, and, and, and I know I'll get beat down for this, but 21 and old. Oh, yeah. 21, you don't need that in 18. 18, 19, 20 year old Too don't young. need no gun. True. Right. They don't need no gun. They don't right. need no gun. People are like, oh, no, they don't need no gun. Yeah. They don't need no gun. You ain't developed um, enough. No, no. And you should, there should be loopholes. But we don't want to do that because the gun lobbyists work their magic mm-hmm. to get across the way to, okay, well, no. We'll be messing with the Second Amendment. Everybody's so scared of this Second Amendment. Second Amendment of me taking your gun. Nobody's ever said. President Obama said it, but I'm not trying to take your guns. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we need to stop this violence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So what we need to do is put some good regulations on to where you can't go to these these shows that we have right over here down here in the uh at the um uh, background. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you get around that because you can get around a background check. You can right. You, you get around sure. background. Go ahead and buy it. And I get around a background check. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can go to Walmart. I can go to um, um, all all these different academy um, sports. And different like, yeah, 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 yeah. And get a gun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not hard. Getting a gun off the street, unfortunately. Right. You know, but what we got to do is stop the flow. Mm-hmm. All we got to do is stop the flow. Make it harder for you to get a gun. Unfortunately, until that happens, mm-hmm. until we have regulation like you have regulation to get a driver's license, regulation that you got to make sure that you have insurance, regulate. But yeah. we got we can yeah. do all that. Yeah, President yeah. Obama said this better than anybody. He said, we have all the regulations in the world mm-hmm. as far as ooh, driving a car. Right. Every regulation you can think of. But as soon as you say something about gun, oh, no, now nah, you can't do yeah. all that. Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah. Why? So as a community, as a black community, where we see gun violence. The most. More than anybody. Yeah, yeah. How about we stand together and say, you going to run for whatever? Okay, that's fine. But guess what you going to do? This is our agenda. First of all, you're going to not we want you to. No, you're going to get up in there and and you're going to fight tooth and nail to make sure that regulations put in place to make sure that this happens, this happens and this happens. So the gun violence in our community can go down. And what we're going to do is going to have the police department come out and educate on all the different things that could happen to you if if gun violence is perpetrated with this kind of weapon, this kind of weapon. And we're going to have the buybacks to where we can take these guns off the street and get rid of them. And we're going to always keep a visible, you're going to keep us, visibility is going to be constant. 
that's where that's where that defund the police craziness yeah, goes yeah, away. Yeah. That we're gonna be constant. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna constantly go to all the community centers and ask questions. Mm-hmm. Well, what are y'all doing? What what do y'all think that we need to do more? Cause brother, all we gotta do is get together as community and we can stop all this foolishness. Every other country in the world don't have the problems we have with gun violence. Yeah. Check mm-hmm. it. And that's 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 fact. Yeah. Right. That's fact. Right. We're the only country that has crazy gun violence, whereas every other country, some countries don't even allow guns. Mm-hmm. Only police have them. Mm. Yeah. And if you get caught with them, it's on you. Right. So that's what I think. But that's the only way it's gonna go because it's gonna that's a higher up than us. But right. we as a community gotta start stepping down on some on on the feet of people who are we elect. Yeah. To do our bidding and right. stop asking oh, and start yeah. telling. Absolutely. Yeah. We just we just we talked about, we that. about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. We did. Yeah. We did. We we see what you have and for us instead of telling you what we want from you. You see what I'm saying? Right. So it, and it's like that every uh, election cycle. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you have for us? Yeah. That's not the way that's supposed to work. No, no man. Not, not at all. No. You know not what I mean? All. Not at all. <laughs> yeah. Not at all. This is what we want. This is what we feel that'll make our community better. If you're not going to do it, we're talking to the wrong person. Oh, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. And and the thing about it, hold accountability, man. Mm-hmm. Everybody always talk about accountability. Right. Okay, well, be accountable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You're accountable to the people who put you in that position. Mm-hmm. So make it happen. And even if you're trying. We understand where we at in the state of mm. the state of um, Florida. I'm not gonna get into that. I know where we at. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, I need to see you scratching and fighting. Yeah. Right. If right. I see you scratching and fighting, I'm down yeah. with that. Oh yeah. I'm oh, cool yeah. with oh, that. Yeah. I yeah. know you went up there with with knowing that I'm gonna do what I got to do for for my people mm-hmm. and my constituents and these young black men and and young black girls that are and brown that are getting killed yeah. on the on the roads. We got to stop the flow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we're going to do what we can to stop the flow. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I, I it's just we got to stand. We got to, again, go back to the whole thing, guys. You're going to stand for something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All of everything. Oh, yeah. We sure appreciate you sitting down. Man, man. look at here. Y'all, y'all, this is a breath of fresh air. I'm going oh, yeah. to just tell you right now. I, 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 I pray y'all brothers, like, again. Yeah. As I said, I hope you reach a hundred thousand, a hundred million. <laughs> because at the end of the day, first of all, y'all, y'all, y'all brothers that are are concerned about the community. Mm-hmm. First of all, mm-hmm. so thank y'all for that. Mm-hmm. Second of all, you're holding us accountable. Cool, I like that. Hold me accountable because I have to be held accountable because I ha- I will great power, bro. Mm-hmm. I will great power, and I look at that like that. I look at our will the power again. We said it to take your life and to take your freedom. Yeah. So at the end of the day, if you're not holding me accountable, then I run rapid. Then what's going? What, what, then you have um, um, chaos. Yeah. Wow. And when with. you have chaos, yeah. then you don't have no accountability. No accountability. Then somebody gonna lose out. As as um, I don't forget who said this. Y'all, please please to my to to dot to my um head, to my head, not my heart. When when certain people get a cold, we get pneumonia. Right. <laughs> right. Just saying, and yeah. that's on yeah. every aspect. Oh yeah. So, not knocking. I want us all to get along. I want us uh, as a community. We got to get along as a community. Because let me tell you something. I'm gonna leave it like this, brother. When you come to Tallahassee, yeah, that's wonderful. You may be in Bradfordville. You may be in all out there, and it's mm-hmm. cool. But that's just part of Tallahassee. Mm-hmm. You need to come on the South Side. Yeah, yeah. And see what's going on on Holton Street, because that's still part of Tallahassee. Right. So when we get the mentality, that real village. That real village mentality, that real dream that Martin Luther King had mm. right. of all of us making sure that Rapid Bill gets mad when there's problems going on on the South Side. Uh uh-uh, uh, no, sir. That dumb little, dumb little girls, dumb little boys ain't got, got every right to freaking um, have a good, to, to play outside that my kids do too. Everybody should get angry. It shouldn't just be the black community getting angry. Every body yeah. should be angry. Yeah. So when we get to that point and when we get there, I promise you, my job will be easy. Because guess what? It won't be no issues because ain't nobody in the whole city going to tolerate foolishness. Mm. Not from criminals, but more importantly, not from me. Because I'm going to be held to, held to a certain standard. And I pray that I do because I am a peacekeeper. Again, appreciate y'all. God bless y'all, man. Oh, yeah, Blessings, good brother. Today, yes, tomorrow, and forever. Yes, sir. Until next time, everybody. 
Y'all live right and play fair. I'll at, I'll at us. When life switch to sports mode, hold it in the road. When you get so mad, you can explode. Hold it in the road. Bro, just stay focused on your goal. Don't let them crack the mold. The finish line straight yeah. ahead, bro. Hold it in the road. Bullets with a badge. I'll never get a pass. We can see straight through your mask. You made a glass, homie. Just think before you do the dash. Cause it might be your last. Lay you in that grass. Face down. You should have put your hands up. I promise you the Rada got them handcuffs. Look, we need to change our recreation. Let's focus on some education. How about let's fight for our reparations? How about let's teach our next generation? Big Bad Harold, Mr. Gray Fox. Let's give them motivation. When life switch to sports mode, hold it in the road. When you get so mad, you can explode. Hold it in the road. Bro, just stay focused on your goal. Don't let them crack the mold. The finish line straight ahead, bro. Hold it in the road. When life switch to sports mode, hold it in the road. When you get so mad, you can explode. Hold it in the road. Bro, just stay focused on your goal. Don't let them crack the mold. The finish line straight ahead, bro. Hold